Hey, what's going on, guys? Lost with Custom Offsets. Today's video, we got another episode of From the Gallery for you guys. I got my boy Hunter here, and we're going to rate some trucks in our gallery. If you guys want to be featured in this series, all you have to do is add your truck to the gallery, customoffsets.com forward slash add. Also, if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, customoffsets.com. Hunter, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's hop into this. First up, we got a 2020 Chevy Silverado 1500. Uh, he's rocking some tough T2As in a 26 by 14 negative 72. Uh, he's got the Conforcer CF3000s in a 35, 13 and a half in a rough country suspension lift of eight inches. Uh, some more details, no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. He also powder coating about it. All right, whatever that means. Uh, moving on, looking at some photos. Uh, this thing looks pretty good. Oh, it looks like he's got like his cross member and stuff powder yeah. coated. Looks like he only has like four photos for us. You know, I don't hate the wheels. I actually like them a lot. Yeah. They kind of like, they kind of remind me of my Caesars. Mm -hmm. And then they also remind me of one of the new TIS wheels. It's kind of some, some along those lines. It's uh, it's become a hot style, but yeah, I really dig it. It's kind of, it's, it's busy, but, but super clean at the same time with like the thinner spokes. I think I've seen enough. Yeah, I would, I would agree. Are you ready? All right, let's go three, two, one, seven. Why'd you pick six and a half? Just because it's just, it's a lift, wheels, and tires. There's sure. nothing that's, you know, crazy done yep. to it. I mean, it's, it looks like it has tint. Um, yes, the lift itself is powder coated, but there's no like uh, bumpers, there's no, I don't know. It's just, it's a very, it's clean, don't get me wrong, but Absolutely. it's just very simple. Yeah, so. very nice, uh, simple start to this build. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, tire, suspension, wheel choice, wouldn't be my number one picks, but I think he really tied it together super, super well. Um, I think, you know, mixing up and powdering the Rough Country suspension was a really good call. And it's like a, it's like a gold color, which I think is super unique and cool. It is cool to see that he actually uses his truck, which I think is super cool, especially at eight inches. And the new body styles just look super good. Yeah. So, but yeah, I think, uh, I think a solid start to your build, you know, now you can really dive into the little things that really pull those tens out of the woodwork, so. Yeah, for sure. All right, next up, 2014 Dodge Ram 1500, Archon Off-Road Roosevelt's in 2414, negative 81. It's got the Amp Mud Terrain Attack MTAs in a 33, 13 and a half, and a Pro Comp leveling kit. Rubs like crazy, but who cares? Uh, no trimming, no spacers. He's got Alpha X Pro Series headlights, Morimoto taillights, Boost Auto Parts, smoked mirror signals, Mo's Performance exhaust. He's also got some rock lights under there. So a little bit more done on this thing. And it looks like he said uh, it's a Pro Ride adjustable leveling kit with three inch struts. Okay. Wheels look sharp. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just it's got it's got like that low wide bulldog stance yeah. going on. And that's that's becoming more popular too, and I'm it's it's growing on me. I mean that's what my truck is at the current moment. Um, but I like the look of low and wide. Yeah. So and these these uh these Rams are crazy. You know, mm -hmm. a pro ride leveling kit, and he's able to stuff 24s and 33s. It's insane. Yeah, Can you imagine I mean, 24s and 33s on your F-150? It, it'd be crazy. I mean, just imagining, because that's what I have for a size tire right now is a 33, and having a 24, 14 stuffed inside of that, that's crazy. Yeah, won't work. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah, I believe so. All right, three, two, one, seven, seven and a half. I think I went a little bit higher on this one. I think he's he's got those extra parts. He went he went the distance with the headlights, the taillights, the rock lights, uh, you know, really took care of his, uh, you know, tow mirrors and stuff like that. And I think just overall super clean. Personally, this is probably my least favorite Archon wheel. I, I'm, really? I'm, I'm gonna say it. It is, I think it's just, I don't hate it. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's like my worst. I hate this thing. I'd never rock it because when I started seeing it in the 24 and the big sizes, it really changed my mind about this mm -hmm. wheel. It gets very, very concave and deep and crazy, especially like bankers sizing. I really like uh, the bigger sizing on this Roosevelt, but wouldn't be my number one choice. Past that, I think all the rest of, you know, his choices on parts are, are excellent. I think he's off to a really good start, so. Yeah, I mean, I completely agree. It's clean for, for now. It's a very good start. I don't know if he plans on you know possibly lifting it or doing what he whatever he wants to but i agree with the roosevelt it's not my favorite favorite archon wheel but it is growing on me seeing it in the bigger sizes um you know using banker again just seeing it on his truck is absolutely insane i do give him props for sticking some 24 14s on a leveling kit it's absolutely insane yeah it's pretty wild so. thing looks good next up we got a 2020 ford f250 super duty let's go baby method mr 305s and an 18 by 9 negative 12 no ridge grappler 35 12 and a half 
and ready lift leveling kit. Taking a look at some details, he's got the ready lift two and a half inch spacer kit with track bar bracket and adjustable track bar. No rubbing or scrubbing because it's super duty and no trimming, no spacers, and that pretty much wraps it up. I just want to point it out, I love that color, dude. Yeah, Ford's blue is always insane. I know. It always looks so good, especially as of recent. You know, I just, mm -hmm. I've been I've been falling more and more in love with the blue and the red. That and it's just, red? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Just like this. And I'm not a red guy at all, and I just keep falling in love with it. I think the, the factory colors are getting better and better. He color matched his uh, hardware and part of his center cap in the in the method wheels to match his factory paint. Mm -hmm. Super nice. Nice touch. Off topic, what do you think? What do you think? So obviously I want an I want a super duty, right? Same. But I don't know about these new ones, man. They got like that F-150 front. I want to hear it from you because you like the F-150s. You drive F-150. I don't know if I can get down with the new the new front ends. Personally, my opinion, I I like them, but I don't love them. If I were to get a Super Duty, which you guys have seen in other videos, I would either go for a clean six liter, like a 2006, um, or I would go between a 2017 and probably a 19 Super yeah. Duty. Just because which is what I want. 2020 is when they redid the grill, and I'm not a huge fan of it. In 2021, it's they changed it up again. Yeah. So. Once companies start coming out with like headlights and grills, I'm mm -hmm. sure they look fantastic. Exactly. Um, yeah. But as of right now, I think 17 and 19 is is the way to go, yep. which which is perfect because that means that they're getting older, they're getting cheaper, and I'm gonna get one. Exactly. I and mean, see, in my case, I need to find one with low miles if I want to do a six liter. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty. Well, I've seen enough on this one. I'm ready to rate it. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. All right. Three, two, one. Seven and, and a half and again. Half. Okay, why six and a half? Because it's, you know, just like... Super simple? <laughs> yeah, it's very simple for what it is. I mean, I'm assuming that he uses his truck. It's just wheels, tires, and a leveling kit. So he probably just wanted a little extra clearance up front, even though he probably didn't need it to stuff those 35s in there. Um, it does add a nice touch, but I do like the wheel choice. It looks very good on that color blue. Plus, yeah. it's got the black grill and the black accent. So it matches very well. Yeah, overall, I mean, it's... A very nice truck. Yeah. So I think I gave it a couple extra points just because of the attention to detail on the wheel with yeah. you know matching the blue and the hardware. You know, he does have the tint and the visor guards and stuff like that. And it is a fantastic start, you know, to be able to slap just a leveling kit. And obviously 18 by nines you get a fit without the leveling kit, but I think yeah. it beefs it up just that little extra bit slapping those 35s and it's a yeah. it's a solid start. I can already point out a couple different things you know, that he could change next and go in that direction. That's kind of why we are sitting around like that seven, seven and a half, just because it yeah. is solid start and I'm excited to see where it goes. Yeah. 2019 Toyota Tundra Anthem Off-Road Commanders in a 20 by 12 negative 44, no ridge grappler, 37, 12 and a halfs, and a pro comp suspension lift of six inches, Photoshop by Sheepdog Media, six inch pro comp suspension lift, Slight rub at full turn, minor metal trimming, no spacers, rough country fender flares, rough country sports bar with 50 inch light bar, NFAB front bumper with 40 inch light bar in a rigid lighting light pod setup as well as some rock lights. So all the lighting, nice overland build. Taking a look at some photos. This thing looks pretty mean. You know, I'm not mad that there's flares on there because it actually looks good. Yeah, I agree. And they're not even paint to match and they still look pretty good. Commander has been, it's an older, Anthem model, but it's still a very clean wheel considering that it's a 20 by 12 with that huge offset as well. Pretty rare that Anthem comes out with a wheel that they offer in that size. So. Absolutely. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, eight. eight and a half. I think this is a fantastic overland build. I think all the parts choices all tied together. Mm -hmm. I think sticking with similar brands, you know, even when he started to go with all this crazy lighting, you know, he stuck with the same brands. I think sticking with the Rough Country for a lot of his stuff was a good choice as Rough Country offers a lot of this sort of stuff. The only thing that I would change, maybe just some paint to match stuff. I think paint to match the headache rack and definitely the fender flares. Although I do not hate it in black, I think it's it's a, it's a good start. And like you said, I think the negative 44 offset on the 12 wide is a fantastic option. Anthem doesn't make huge wheels, yeah. which is why a lot of Anthem wheels work in the overland scene. And I think everything else ties really well together here. Uh, I think if he were to get crazy with some headlight taillight action, I've seen a lot of crazy, crazy uh, Alpha Rex and Morimoto headlights for these. But past that, solid build. Yeah, it's just like you, I'm basically just gonna reword everything that you said. I mean, it's a very clean build for what it is. Me personally, if I was gonna make an overland build, don't think I would go six inch. Yeah. I would probably go like four. You know, I'd probably go with something that Anthem offers now, like a 18 yeah. by like nine or something like that. 
Yeah. Um, and then probably just 35s. I think but, they're they're stuck a little bit in the in the show slash yeah, use, that's, useful. And that's kind of why Anthem moved away from the 20 by 12s because they yeah. wanted to focus more on like the overland and you know like outdoors. Purpose built. So. All right. Next up, 2019 GMC Sierra 3500 HD Dually. Man. That's a unit right there. Rotiform OZT 24 by 10s plus 24 Nitto uh, NT 420Vs and a 30 by 10 and a half in a Magoy's level two inch drop rear. Magoy's two inch drop rear shackle, no rubbing, no scrubbing, no trimming, no spacers. It's got intake, tint, horn blasters, conductor train horns. I love this wheel wow i think that looks fantastic i think uh rotiform has always had a solid name in the car industry and then mm -hmm. to see also a, a hot design in the truck industry pretty cool i think these rears are insane they're absolutely insane just like you said um you know rotiform with car wheels i didn't even know that they transformed and they started making them for trucks too so i was pretty surprised when you scrolling through the pictures and i saw you know the big logo on the center cap but yeah it's a very clean design it looks like he might have smoked out the taillights oh, as yeah. well but the rest he kind of left and it looks like maybe either he found a super cool like gravel you know working industry like area to take photos or he actually uses his mm -hmm. truck we don't really know uh spike lugs look super good i think the the factory color looks really good this thing's hot like i'm not a big like i'm not a huge dually guy but like this is a unit and i would drive the hell out of this thing yeah for sure i mean huge props to trevor as well because dually wheels are a pain in the ass to configure and make sure that they're gonna fit so um, props to him for you know making sure that the 24 by 10s are gonna fit because that's really just the front wheel yeah you need to get matching wheels for the front and the rear and then you need to find a tire size that's gonna fit for all of them i'm curious to see what the rear specs are but unfortunately he doesn't have his specs but i'm sure obviously dually wheels are pretty rowdy in the rear so yeah, for sure. I, i'd be interested to see uh what kind of crazy offset he's got on these rotiforms but yeah i think i'm ready to, to rate it all right three two one eight Seven. i think it's super super clean i personally have been digging duallys that have the more meteor setup on the tires i think yeah. Picking that over like a street tire with, you know, the middle 420 Vs, I think is the only real thing that I would change. The headlights and taillights are already super clean. The rest of the truck's super clean. You know, I wouldn't really change much else. I think just add in the, the Meteor tires on Dooley's just look so, like so good. And I just For sure. love them so much. That would be about the only thing I would change. I'm kind of in the same boat with the street look. Personally, I feel like if you're going to put street tires on a Dooley that that needs to be slammed down yeah. the floor yeah but you know just like you said earlier he probably hauled with it yep um so i mean it's clean for what it is like i said before i mean what it takes to actually put wheels on a dually itself that's that's a job and a half so props to him but other than that it's very clean so all right well hunter thank you for stopping by and hopping on this from the gallery with me uh it's always a good time if you guys need wheels, tires, suspension, accessories, custom offsets.com. Also, if you guys want to be featured in a From the Gallery, add your truck to our gallery as it continues to grow. It's huge now. It's like over 80,000 trucks. It's insane. Yeah. Uh, you can do so at customoffsets.com forward slash add. We'll see you guys on the next one.